When I build a chest of drawers or anything like that, um, I usually use frame and panel construction like this. And I also put a, a lot of thought into the types of joinery that I use um, in regards to the stresses that are going to be applied to the piece of furniture. So if you look at this um, little nightstand that I'm making, I've used panel and frame construction for the sides. So you have vortices and tenons, right? Now, when I put the case together, if I use stub tenons or double tenons for the front rails, for the drawers, um, that's all fine and well, but it doesn't give any support for rackage if there's weight put on top of the case. What I mean is, eventually when you put things in the drawer and you put stuff on top of, of the nightstand, it's going to be pushing down on the case and there's going to be a back to the case which will hold it together pretty well but the front rails if they're put together with tenons there may be a tendency for the legs to be pushed out like this so what i like to use is dovetails for the front rails now a lot of cases that i have made in dressers i actually put the dovetails straight in from the front so that you'll have a nice accent i'll show you a picture of that here but on other cases, I want to have the, the rail joints hidden like this so that you can't see the joint from the outside. Now, at first glance, this may look like it's a regular stub tenon, morcine tenon. But what I've actually done is cut a dovetail, a stopped dovetail. I'll take that apart. Here. I have a stopped dovetail that slides in so that the rail fits right into the groove that's going to hold the panel on the side of the case, which is this groove right here. So as you can see, my dovetail fits in. right up to the point where the panel is, right here. And that's what I'm going to show you how to cut. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you want to measure is the amount that you want to have your rail sticking behind your leg. So, you obviously don't want to have it go further than this mortise or this groove dado, because that's where the panel is going to be. So, you take your marking gauge and you measure the length of that dado. Then you take your piece of wood, and I marked a T so I know which way it's going on the top here. And I'm going to put a line all the way around, just so I know where everything is. Now, I'm making this joint on the thinner side of this um, dado for the panel. Typically it would be on this side. This would be the inside and this would be the outside because this is closer. But again, this is just for reference and I want to teach you how to make the joint. It really doesn't matter. You got to measure the same way any way you do it. So this is the amount. It's going to be going like this. This is the amount in that this has to go. And coincidentally, this is also going to be the same thickness as the dovetail. So now I want to mark the front how far in from the front do I want to have that rail and we want to mark how far in how far down rather you want your dovetail to go this is going to be the length of your dovetail so again top and now we mark from this side this is going to be the length of the dovetail. Describe that all around. And I'm going to mark it. Mark it with a DT so I know I don't get confused. I know which side the dovetail is going to be. The next step is to put in your vise and you want to take a square 
take your marking knife and make real nice deep cuts on the line of the bottom of your dovetail. And take a chisel and make a nice deep knife wall. And then flip it over and do the same on the other side. Next order of business is to take your dovetail saw and you want to cut down in between the dovetail and the portion that's going to be sticking behind the leg. And this just makes it easier to cut out the dovetail. Then you take a dovetail gauge and mark your dovetail. Now what you want to do is take your Azebiki no Kugiri, Japanese saw that's shaped like this. Put it in that knife wall and cut the shoulders of your dovetail. Then you take a chisel and you work yourself in there and you start to shape the dovetail. And it just happens to be a knot right here where I want to make my dovetail which is very annoying. Then flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And when you're done you should end up something like that dovetail with the shoulders. Now for alignment purposes what I like to do is cut a little bit of the dovetail off So that little lip on there helps me to align it when I scribe the lines for the dovetail. Light strokes at first. And then I want to measure the depth of the dovetail. Inscribe that here. Take your dovetail saw, line it right up with that line. And then chop it out the same way you would a half blind dovetail. So it's a little loose because I didn't take a lot of time to do it, I didn't take a lot of care to do it, but perfectly, ideally, you should be looking for that type of fit. And then you have room on the back for your panel and you put a groove in there for your dust panels underneath 
your drawers but there you go and that's how it looks for the front thanks for watching